It took me a while to get on the Neural DSP train, but now that I'm here, I am a frequent rider. You know, I've got the loyalty card, I've joined the passenger rewards program, the whole thing. I do basically all my writing these days using Neural DSP plugins, all the isolated sound clips in my demo videos are Neural DSP, and they've just dropped a new plugin, Archetype Rabia. I'm really excited about this one because I'm a big fan of Rabia and his playing style. That being said, this plugin kind of went in a very different direction to what I was expecting. Let's take a closer look. Now, I don't know if I've got this plugin out for launch day or not. Probably not new dad life. But if I have, your sub box is probably all neural DSP. And I don't want to waste your time with the same demo video that everybody else is doing. So when I get one of the new plugins, I like to do things differently. Basically, we're going to do a quick run through of the plugin together, see what it's all about. Neural's archetype plugins usually have one or two marquee features for the artist. So we'll get some first impressions. In this case, the Overlord synth module, guitar to synth, it looks crazy. And then we're actually going to use the entire package to write something. See what the tones inspire. So thanks to them for sponsoring the video, even though I would have done it anyways, because I'm a fan of Neural DSPs and a fan of Ruby and Assad's. A quick feature overview for this plugin, familiar modular layout, three amps, Cali clean, rhythm, and lead, which is probably based on the Victory Kraken he helped voice and is super fond of. Archetype Bia has kind of an Assassin's Creed Odyssey type aesthetic, which is pretty cool. Compressor, Octaver, Fuzz, and Overdrive pre-effects, comprehensive cab sim module with brand new IRs, or you can load on your own custom impulse responses, EQ module, stereo delay, and reverb post effects. And the the aforementioned Overlord synth module. Overall, it seems to have taken a lot of inspiration from Archetype Petrucci in terms of how comprehensive a plugin it is, as well as directly borrowing previously exclusive features like the doubler, the transposer, room mics, and the cab sim module. I've got my Gretsch baritone ready to go. Let's dive right in. That artwork is nightmare inducing. So this Gretsch is currently in drop E which is an absolutely stupid tuning. But what's cool about plugins is that while tube amps start to sag with ridiculously low tunings, you know, they get really loose and flubby, plugins don't. The sound is consistent whether you're in standard or in drop E, the response is the same. So that's pretty cool if you're trying to get absurdly low. I'm gonna take advantage of this situation. So I'll tell you real quick what I've done here. These pickups aren't the highest output, so what I've done is I've upped the gain and I've engaged the overdrive, and that's literally it. I mean, that's pretty close to default settings, and already we've got a tight, chunky rhythm tone. It's cool, it sounds very, um, like orange rocker verby almost. There's something going on in the mid-range that's very orangey. Again, something that works really well with the ultra-low tunings. Oh cool, you got an EL34 6L6 switch. See how much of a difference that makes. Oh, a big difference. I like the 6L6 better, so I'm gonna keep it that way. Oh, wait a second. What if I transpose this? Rumor has it that at least one of you shit your pants after hearing that. <laughs> so that's pretty cool, we know it chugs. Was there ever any doubt? This is what I really want to check out though, the Overlord synth. That actually tracks quite well. We lost it. That is crazy. So the arpeggiator seems to latch on to the closest semitone. Like you're not gonna be doing crazy shred runs and using the arpeggiator. So let's see, what are we? We're in E already, minor, up. What about down? Okay, what about up, down? What the f I think we broke it. All right, what about down up? All right, weird. A random?
sounds like a tool song. All right, well, that's super unpredictable. I'm not sure I can use that, but up. I don't want to change any of the notes in there, but let's change the rate. Okay. Perfect. We've got our intro. That's cool. We need a main riff now. I'm sorry, with this thing, it's just too much fun to just abuse the shit out of the lowest string. Actually, I take that back. I'm not sorry whatsoever. Ooh. That sounds fucking sick. No, instead of it's gotta be. Synthy trails? I like that a lot. Let's throw on a compressor. just fills up all of the empty space. I love it. It's like I can't throw guitar players in there, but I really don't have to. It's really perfect. Get it? It's a self-deprecating joke because YouTubers are lazy and whatever. We move. Okay, so we've got our synth intro, we've got our main dirty riff, we've got our main clean riff. We need one more dirty riff. It'll go right after the clean section, so it needs to hit f***ing hard. And Rabia uses a lot of interesting chord voices. Like, this is one of his favorites to throw in. Nah, that f***ing sucks. <laughs> Let's see, he likes using... He also likes using all the strings in his riffs. Not that I'm necessarily trying to imitate Bia's style, I straight up can't. His sense of phrasing, it, it goes way over my head. There's a lot of ideas, it's just getting them to work together. This may be a good time to bring up my excuse for the day. I made the mistake of going outside and I got bitten by something and I'm having some sort of allergic reaction and my hand is swollen. I don't know if this has ever happened to you guys, but you know when something itches so much it hurts? Anyway, so that's why my playing is unusually bad today. It's uh, because I was attacked by nature, not just because I suck. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna have to practice that so much, but with the help of movie magic, the next time you see me, I will have fucking perfected that. Definitely a lot of cool tools here, but I think that's enough ideas for now. So I'm gonna go work on the demo track off camera. This is the first thing I came up with, inspired by the tones available in Archetype Rubia.
not gonna lie, I've been really enjoying the baritone since I got it. But that is the new Neural DSP Architect Bia. <laughs> This is what the Archetype plugins are all about. It's a digital recreation of an entire rig in one comprehensive digital package. And it's funny, we say it so casually now, it's like, oh yeah, it's just another entire rig in a box. When you think about where we were a few years ago and how good these plugins sound now, it's really impressive we're at this point. You know, I love my tube amps clearly, and here I am now excited about a new plugin. Didn't see that one coming a couple of years ago. <laughs> You've got your three Bia voiced amps, your pre and post stomp box effects, EQ module, cab sim. It sounds great, but more importantly, it feels really natural and responsive, and all of that would be impressive on its own. But then the special feature is, of course, this synth module. And I really have no idea what I'm doing with this. It's an absurdly powerful tool. I really only played around with the arpeggiator and even then I was basically using default settings. Quite honestly, compared to the multi-voice module from Archetype Tim Henson or the whammy module from Archetype Gojira, I don't really know what I'd personally use this synth module for, but in terms of sheer versatility, I mean, this opens up something completely different, a completely different world of synth. For your guitar. And I'm stoked to hear what more creative and or synth minded people will come up with. Hold up, Hunter and editing here. The plugin has now been publicly released and a bunch of synth presets are out and some of them are pretty nuts. <laughs> On a live stream, Bia showed how you can recreate the Stranger Things intro by playing just one note on the guitar. Honestly, it seems like if you take the time to get to grips with this, it'll be a cheat code for synth. <laughs> And from what I've heard from people who actually know what they're doing, the plugin seems like it's worth checking out for just that module alone. Anyways, back to my final thoughts. And I said this last time with the Petrucci plugin, but writing with plugins now that they sound really good and have a really natural response, it's been a game changer for quickly laying down ideas. You're recording DI and you can just manipulate that DI at any time, it's so convenient. You can change settings on the fly if need be, change them later, use an entirely different plugin. For songwriting, plugins are a revelation for creativity and personally, Neural DSP has been my go-to. I literally use them daily. <laughs> I kind of wish they had their modules available, I don't know, a la carte? Like if you wanted the synth module from Archetype Bia, the Gojira Whammy module, and the tones from Archetype Petrucci's amps, it would be nice if each module was its own small standalone plugin. That way you don't have to buy and run each one individually, or maybe like a comprehensive loader for all the modules. But I'm not a software engineer, there's probably some technical reason as to why that's not possible. <laughs> Either way, Archetype Bia may have just taken the crown from the SLO 100 as my new favorite NDSP plugin. I really, really like the way this orangey high gain amp sounds, but all the Neural plugins have their own flavor. It's all subjective, which is exactly why Neural DSP offers free trials of all their plugins. My strong recommendation is go to the website, try them out for free. If you hate them, delete them. 
I have a feeling you won't want to though. But that's about all I have to say about Archetype B. I'd love to know what you're thinking down below. Have you guys tried this yet? What do you think? How does it compare to the other neural plugins or other comprehensive rig plugins in general? And I want to give a huge shout out to all my amazing patrons who make this and every other video possible. Seriously, your support is incredible. I would not be able to do any of this without you. If you want to join them in supporting the channel and get bonus extras, link will be in the description. Social media, Discord, and affiliate links are also down below. If you want to hear what my other favorite Neural DSP plugin sounds like, you can click the tab right there. As always, thanks so much for watching. You've been awesome, and I will see you for the next video.